My biggest piece of advice to uh, client management by freelancers, do not cut yourself and sell yourself up short. So the freelancer should know what he or she is worth, have the confidence to stick to your price. The price you set in one event could have a repercussion on what the market think of you for the next six months or for the next 12 months. For extremely difficult clients, I would investigate into what is it that is lacking or missing that is causing such anxiety on the client side. So I would have a, a very calm and open communication with the client to really ask him or her what are the five steps that you would take to uh, make this relationship better. And I would suggest over communication and pre-communication to be the mantra of any freelancer. So another group of difficult clients would be clients who fundamentally do not know what they want. You can care and really show attention on a personal level, but um, know how and when to protect yourself and set boundaries. One of the biggest mistakes I see freelancers making is the whole notion that they are chosen and they don't have the power to choose. Place yourself in a position where you can always choose. So it's really about discerning whether you can draw lessons and whether there's available growth in those relationships and cutting them off when, when it's not the case. For international client um, relationships, I think the freelancer will really have to assess if he or she would be the best person to provide that service to that particular client. Again, uh, pre-communicate early on what you're willing to do, what you're willing to sacrifice and look for a compromise.